woman's extreme reaction to a seemingly minor issue, the beard, could be interpreted as emotional instability. Her reaction included slamming a wine glass and plate, followed by storming off and slamming the door. This could be indicative of someone who has difficulty in managing emotions and disproportionate responses to conflict. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collections of life lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. Today's video, Am I Wrong for Calling Off Our Wedding After My Sister-in-Law Shaved My Beard? And I want to thank Faith, part of the 9.3% of women who watch my channel. I, male 28, and my fiance, female 25, who we'll call Lexi, are a happy couple of six years and engaged for one, so I thought. Okay, how many of these stories begin with some helpless, hapless guy thinking he has the perfect relationship and the perfect girl. And at what point do we men realize when it comes to love and sometimes relationships, we're the naive ones. For context, my fiance's sister, 32 female, we'll call her Sally, has always been hostile towards me and would rarely speak to me and when she did, it would be because her parents were around. Sally is Lexi's rock because she got her through a tough time during college. And since then, Lexi has told Sally everything about everything. We've had problems with this in the past due to her telling Sally personal things about my childhood that I'd only told a few people. Okay, normally, I'd give him a slap to the back of the head. However, most guys would not see this part coming. There are a couple of red flags here. First, Sally has always been hostile towards me and would rarely speak to me. Okay, yellow flag on the play here. If you honestly did nothing to deserve such animosity, this will be a problem down the road. As a rule, you can count on that sister working against you behind the scenes, just waiting for the moment to tank your relationship. Secondly, Sally is Lexi's rock because she got her through a tough time during college and since then, Lexi has told Sally everything about everything. These two flags now equal a major red flag. In my humble opinion, it sounds like Lexi's deep reliance on, her, on Sally for emotional support, especially since college highlights a possible codependent relationship. Watch out for this, guys. This kind of dependency can undermine her ability to maintain healthy boundaries in a relationship. Also, as much as women love to lie about it, count on their girlfriends knowing all about your relationship, from the size of your tallywhacker to whether or not you run a three minute mile. Oh, and I probably should say this so I don't get in trouble with this platform. Disclaimer, I am not a professional 
and this is in no way to be taken as a diagnosis. It is my personal opinions and life observations and is for entertainment purposes only. We've had problems in the, with this in the past due to her telling Sally personal things about my childhood that I'd only told a few people. Slap to the back of the head. Okay, a blatant show of disrespect and she violated your boundaries by sharing intimate details and you reward her by staying with her? This has led us to not speaking for three months during COVID when she only left our room for food and to go to the toilet. Recently, we haven't argued in a year or more until three nights ago when she mentioned that she'd like me to shave my beard. For context, I have a very thick beard that I've been growing for eight years and I am very proud of it. Huh, at this moment I'm thinking of the guys from ZZ Top. I of course told Lexi I wouldn't be shaving my beard to which she stormed off to the kitchen and slammed her wine glass into the sink, smashing it, and a plate in the process. I immediately stood up and asked her, WTF, what was she doing? She then spun around and screamed that I'm a selfish a-hole because I wouldn't shave my beard and ran into our bedroom and slammed the door. Slap to the back of the head. Gee. I remember, I think I said, and you rewarded her behavior by staying with her? Lesson time, my brothers. How many of you see the escalation here? If you do, in the comments type, I see it, and give me a thumbs up. You know what else I see? A woman's extreme reaction to a seemingly minor issue that would be the beard, could be interpreted as emotional instability. Her reaction included slamming a wine glass and a plate, breaking both, followed by storming off and slamming the door. This could be indicative of someone who has mm, dealt a difficulty in managing emotions and disproportionate responses to conflict. So, what do we have here? Well, let's see. Intense emotional reactions, impulsive behaviors, abrupt mood swings, and destructive outbursts. Now, I'm not a professional, and this is not a diagnosis or anything, but I have to ask. Dude, are you attracted to those BPD girls there, my brother? I mean, just saying and, well, I'm asking for a friend. I ended up sleeping on the couch and woke up around 4 a.m. to Sally with a razor trying to shave my beard. So I pushed her off me. Lexi then ran to check on Sally whilst I was looking at the beard patch Sally had taken out of my beard. Then I went upstairs, packed a bag, whilst Lexi shouted at me for hurting Sally. I told her to F off and that the wedding was off and I walked out of the house and drove an hour to my parents' house where I've been staying since the incident. Okay, hold the phone. How many of you guys and gals would respond negatively if you woke up and someone had a razor or sharp implement at or near your throat. In the comments sections below, give us all your natural responses. Oh, and by the way, slap to the back of the head. This is for not filling out a damn police report for assaulting or having a lawyer do it. It may not go anywhere, you need to get this on record because it's now obvious you've been putting your D in crazy. Damn straight cancel the wedding 
and take the financial hit. Oh, and eject, eject, eject. Earlier today, I got a text from Sally saying, I was selfish for not shaving my beard because when I go down on Sally, it feels weird and I haven't replied to her. So wait, all those years that you've been going down to Australia and New Zealand, it wasn't a problem until recently? My family thinks I should break off with the relationship, but her family said I should just shave it all off and move on. So what shall I do and am I wrong? Okay, here's my answer. Slap to the back of the head for even asking that question in the first place. You stay with her, you get what you deserve and no sympathy from me. All this damn drama is a blessing. It is whatever you call God's way of saying, hey dumbass, step right and dodge this bullet coming at you. Now, for some updates. First update. I've now got, as of typing, 99 plus texts and calls from Lexi saying things like, don't leave, let's have sex one more time, and I'm pregnant. She's trying to baby trap me, I think. Gee, you think? Update number two. Lexi messaged me weird things, miss me, and I'll take the baby to Sally. Then messaged me saying, then Sally messaged me, Lexi's in the hospital being treated after a suicide attempt. I don't believe it at all. I blocked Sally's number now. Update number three. I called the police and showed the evidence of her suicidal messages so she can hopefully be getting checked into a mental institution. Huh. Hopefully they'll bigger act her butt. Guys. Take note and learn from this manipulative behavior. Suicidal threats and pregnancy claims. Lexi's messages post-breakup include claims of pregnancy and suicidal threats are among the worst kinds of manipulative tactics to regain control over the situation. I've seen and dated females with this kind of behavior who struggle with fear of abandonment and use such drastic measures to prevent it. Don't respond. Do not go running to the hospital and don't be shamed by and guilted by her family. Tell them it's over. It's not my circus and no longer my monkeys. And if they come to your door, tell them that and then slam the door in their face and lock it. Update 4. Lexi's aunt, who is the only person on her side that agrees with me, just called me to tell me Lexi has been checked into a psychiatric unit for two weeks. I'll keep everyone updated if anything happens, but I should be okay for now. Update number 5. I just wanted to say thank you for the overwhelming amount of support. I filed a police report on Sally for assault, and I'm in the process of canceling the wedding venue. Oh, it's about freaking time, dude. Update number 6. I'm back at the house, and I've had the locksmith change the locks just in case. Well, yeah. That would be a no-brainer if you have any brains and it's what I would tell you to do. The wedding venue can't be refunded, but it's going to be paid for by her parents anyway, so I don't care. I've also contacted my lawyers. Well, better late than never. Excellent in the end, our guy makes a last-minute comeback for the win. I just hope in the future he's not attracted to another crazy like Lexi. Women may be the gateway to sex, but we men are the gateway to marriage and commitment. So learn from my videos and choose wisely. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. 
give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you find an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my occasional memes, or you can subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, please check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you. Everything feels like you're sticky stuck. I'm lost, handcuffed.